Hey, what's up guys? Second Creeper over here back again with another Modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, the Arcane Ear from Thomcraft. Now, this is a very interesting block because it produces redstone based on the note it hears from a nearby note block. So basically the way it works, uh, you have to tune the Arcane Ear to a specific note depending on the material it's placed on. These notes are the same based on the note blocks. So basically, basically the different materials that you can put note blocks on you can also put an arcane ear on and have different frequencies come out so say for example so right now it's on stone so right now it's tuned to piano see just uh, you just right click you just right click to change the frequency that's uh or change the note that it's looking for and just do the just do the first note and since the note block doesn't require any tuning for that, I'll just uh, get a I'll just get a button. Really shouldn't have thrown away those buttons earlier, but whatever. So when I press it, uh, when I press it, the arcane ear hears that uh, hears that note and outputs a uh, outputs a little redstone signal. See, look at that. So basically, uh, so basically, uh, basically, you can have uh, you can have the arcane ear, uh, you can have the arcane ear do some do some cool redstone stuff with uh, with music uh, with like a musical lock, for example, like um, using some and uh, using like uh, an and gate or something. You can uh, you can have a musical lock to open your door for uh, for like outsiders, so you, so they don't uh, so they don't have to like uh, so they don't have to just guess a password or. I guess technically a music block is a password, but whatever. Anyway, to craft the arcane ear, you're going to need four gold ingots, an iron ingot, a zombie brain, two great wood planks, and one redstone with 10 air and 10 ordo V in an arcane work table. So in order, in order to get the re in order to get the research for, in order to get the research for the arcane ear, it is in artifice. Where is it? There it is. So it's by the goggles we're revealing. It's basically, uh, basically, once you research this, you'll be able to craft the arcane ear, just like everything else in Thomcraft that uh, it requires research. Anyway, that's. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty simple. So, um, maybe I should get some. Let's get some stone here really quickly. Let's put the note block or arcane ear on here. See, now it's listening for drums. See, because and because because this note block is on grass, it won't hear. So it's tuned to the first note, but since it's not on grass, it's not listening. It's not listening for this note block right here. It's listening. It's listening for a note block that's on it. It's listening for a note block that's on stone. So if we get if we get some glass now. Oops, that's stone. Yep. Yeah. Yes, all it's all of the different frequencies for note blocks. Uh, I mean, I haven't used note blocks all that often in in uh, Minecraft, so don't blame don't blame me. I don't know I don't know like all the frequencies and whatever. Anyway, I think that'll be it for this quick look at the arcane ear from Thongcraft. Actually, there's one thing I forgot to mention. The arcane ear has a range of 47 blocks. So basically, basically, a note uh, a note block tuned to the same frequency as the arcane ear, 47 blocks away from the arcane ear, will be able uh, will uh, will still be able uh, to have uh, will still be able to. I'm phrasing this weird. Anyway, uh, the arcane ear can hear a note block that's up to 47 blocks away and still output a redstone signal. So you can have, so you can have like a musical lock. Uh, you can have a musical lock like all over the place and still have the have the arcane ear still be able to hear it. Alrighty, guys. Now that'll be it for this uh, episode of Modern Minecraft Tutorials. So I hope you guys enjoyed this brief look at the arcane ear, a magical redstone block. If you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to my channel so it helps me out so very much. Also, if you want to see more tutorials in the future, let me know what you want to see. Post it in the comments, tweet it at me, or message it to me on Google+. Don't mention me on Twitter or on Google+, or I might not see it. So that'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.